Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, the video might be black to you, but there's actually a door here that goes into what is called the RC room. A room here I have in the house where I have all my RC vehicles stored at, along with the body shells, parts, my workstation, also some other things. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at it. There he goes, my friends, my RC room here in the house. Like I said, this is where I have all my uh, all my vehicles stored at, body shells, parts, computers, and everything like that that I do the videos with. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the room. Can I give an update on it? So as you guys can see, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. Now, some of y'all have really big collections. I've seen huge collections uh, on Facebook. Facebook and stuff like that, but here's mine. It's not that big. I have uh, a lot of different RCs as you guys can see and every time I walk into this room I feel like I'm in my own personal hobby shop so I can sit there and just look at my vehicles and stuff like that. So let me give you a tour. Now I spent a great deal of time in this room. I uh, Yes, I am single. I'm not married. I don't have kids. So that's why I can afford this hobby, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, where to start at? So, uh, yeah, so this is the room. Over there is all my detailing stuff because I do auto detailing on the side for extra cash. So that's where all my detailing products and equipment's at as well. So I guess we'll start this way and work around the room. All right, so first off, got my DJI Phantom 3 Professional sitting right there. Got to do some work on that, but uh, yeah. Now up here, got some of my construction vehicles. Got my little escalator there from uh, Double E, I think it's called, and uh, it's really cool. It's a little toy grade one, but it still does pretty good for being toy grade. Got a little bulldozer there that I had never ran, just another toy grade, and uh, a hobby engine track loader. So I got that uh, up here on the wall. As you see all these uh, box cuttings here, these are all the RCs that I've had in the past. Now there's some that I don't have the box to, and I wish I did, but uh, I keep them up there. Just a reminder of the vehicles I've had in the past and, and, and everything like that. It's just a good decorated item. All right, so now you're probably asking why is there two computers down here, all right? I'll answer that question for you, all right? So the computer on your right, which is this one right here, that's the one where I do a lot of my uh, videos for the channel is on that one. Because uh, there's a certain uh, editing software that I like using on that computer that does not work with my newer computer. Uh, the newer one is an HP uh, Pavilion all-in-one touchscreen. And that's the one I used for my video and photography work that I do. I like to kind of keep my work kind of separate from each other. Uh, so yeah, so uh, that's for RC videos. That's for my photography. <laughs> all right. So uh, back up here, all my instruction manuals from all my RCs I've owned are right there as well. Up here, got some uh, some spare tires. You know, stock tires actually. Uh, this is the uh, Tamiya Hummer, the Trail Finder, and SCX102. Got the QX4 Mantra Rock Crawler, which is currently down right now. The motor blew, blew out on it. That's yeah, all right. Uh, so, all right. Some of my uh, military tanks here. The Bulldog Walker tank and then the M3 Sherman tank. Both of these are really super cool. Hadn't took them out in a while. Uh, just, I need to. I actually need to take them out and run them for a little bit. All right, down here. I got a RC boat that this is actually a wooden boat that I built from uh, a kit that I got <coughs> and uh, not the best kit but I did end up building a few of them. You got the Tamiya Conkhead 6x6 right there. Awesome little truck. Really love it. It's a lot of fun actually. Uh, so up here of course some AA batteries and battery packs and stuff like that from the controllers and stuff. <coughs> Over here is where I spend a great deal of time. The RC workstation 
Whenever you guys hear me say the RC workstation, this is it, my friends. This is where I work on all my RCs and other hobbies as well. And as you guys can see, it is pretty organized. Now, some of you guys are like, man, I, I wish mine was organized. I can't organize. It's always messy. Uh, during projects, my friends, this thing is a mess. And uh, it's just a great work stand, actually. And I got this at Harbor Freight. It's probably like one of the best things that I got from Harbor Freight. You know, so yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, you guys can see, there's my phone. You don't need to see that. My controller, all my tools right there. More tools down here in the drawers are stuff that I need for RCs. You know, heat shrink, Dremelin, Zacto Nice, and uh, million uh little parts and stuff like that wires and stuff like that zip ties tape and all that good stuff um over in this one more tools for me to work on the vehicles with and whatever else uh underneath got some more store stuff you know more rc parts screws down there parts and stuff like that all that good stuff this, my friends, right here is the Rescue 17 Fireboat. Hadn't took it out uh, in a while now. Actually, since last year, maybe, or maybe this year. I'm not exactly sure. I hadn't hadn't took it out in a while. It's just been sitting up here looking pretty. I need to get her back out there in the water. Uh, just got a few things I want to do before I actually take it back out in the water, but it is an awesome boat. About 38 inches long, you know, basically almost two inches high of... Uh, you know reaching about four foot so it's a massive boat it's really cool the water cannon works on it so you can actually shoot water it's got uh led lights on it and uh it's pretty cool i love that thing over here is my uh i guess you want to say my turntable of parts and as you can see i got controllers out the glory on there now this was an old sunglass display and i I uh, got it off of uh, off the internet, off the off actually off Facebook uh, market there, and uh, it has great thing. <laughs> it's it's good to store your RC parts on. And uh, my uh, ex fiance, she's the one who actually purchased this for me. She's like, this would be good uh, to store your RC parts on. So as you guys can see, I got. ESCs, ESCs, ESCs. Never can have enough ESCs just in case something might happen. Uh, motors, 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 more motors. On this side here, of course, another motor, RC4 drive motor. Uh, parts, 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 parts. Never can have enough parts, you know, you always got to have something to fix. Uh, this is where I would store all my batteries. Some of the batteries are actually in the trucks right now. But uh, I got different batteries for nickel, you know, nickel hydride metals to uh, lipo batteries and stuff. And of course, you know, controllers. These are all the uh, ready to run controllers other than the uh, Skyfly right there. Or Fly Sky. I, I, I can't, I, I get those mixed up. So yeah. Yeah. All right. And there's my little scale camper, which uh, I really didn't. I wish I didn't really color in that because color the windows there because the interior is great scaled out really nice now over here on this stand is my main vehicles that I pretty much run here so as you guys know this is the cross RC HC 6 6x6 military truck absolutely love that truck it is super awesome and super heavy <laughs> But I've always wanted a deuce, and since I can't afford the real thing in real life, why not have the smaller version of the truck? And uh, pretty nice. All right, so down here is my Axial SEX-10 II, which just got recent a new paint job. Did an antique metallic gold and went back and put some black stripes and color in the interior and stuff. Put the brass kit on there as well. Uh, super awesome looking truck. Really love that one. I love all my RCs actually. Now down here I got my Trail Finder 2 from RC4 Drive. That thing is pretty macked out, scaled out as well. Look at the rust on my wheels. <laughs> That's all natural rust. No, no, uh, <laughs> I didn't do that. That was all natural. 
Uh, of course, back here in the bed, I got a lot of cool little scale items back there. Coca-Cola bottles, uh, pallet, toolbox, all that good stuff. Down here is the uh, <clears throat> Tamiya M1025 Humvee. One of my most prized possessions I have here in my RC collection. Uh, this is a super awesome vehicle. Very old as well. Uh, this vehicle came out in 1995. So, you do the math. <laughs> it's a pretty old vehicle. And uh, I, got, I got the parts to fix it. Uh, to make this thing more capable off-road because right now it, it is full of drive but not full-time full of drive uh, so I got this stuff to lock up the differential so I can make it full of drive so it'd be a little bit better more a little more easier for it on the trails all right come up here to this massive big 1-6 scale RC battle tank from 21st century toys uh, I got this uh, about a year or two years ago. I did a trade uh, with the Unimog 425, the Tamiya one, for this awesome, big, humongous tank. <laughs> As you can see, just how big this thing is. It's a lot of fun, and it's, it is a tank. I mean, this thing will not stop uh, at all. Uh, there's the battery for it, 12 volt battery for it, my friends, to push this thing. And uh, if you ever look inside this thing, it's crazy because there's not much to it. Really, it's not. <laughs> you think with this big tank that it have big motors in there, but no, it don't. It actually has some small little motors. But uh, that is an awesome thing. I still got to work on this thing a little bit, uh, fix some things on it, and try to locate some parts for it. But it's still a cool little uh, vehicle to play around with. Now down here is some of my body shells, which I've been actually getting rid of some of my body shells lately, uh, just because I've been having too many and I don't want to swap around body shells and stuff. But uh, yeah, all right, so down here, of course another body shell. That was, that's the old Chevy body there. And that was my first ever body shell that I've ever bought in the RC world. Uh, when I had my HPI Crawler King, that was on there, and I still have that body today, nine years later. How about that? Uh, got some bags here. This is my bag for, you know, when I'm going out RC and has all my tools, um, my controller parts and stuff like that. This bag over here is a carrying bag for the RCs, which I don't really use anymore. And so yeah, <laughs> uh, down here on this shelf is uh, my drone bag for the G G DJI Phantom, uh, my camera bag, uh, another camera bag that has my uh, um, my film gear that I use to make videos with and stuff, not just my RC videos, but uh, wedding videos and uh, party videos and stuff like that, and music videos and stuff like that. So, so not just in there as well. Uh, there's some studio lights. That's what I use when I am uh, filming over here at the RC workstation. I'll pop those things out. There's also my photography stuff because I do video and photography. So I use those as my light source to uh, light up here so I can show you guys the videos, stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, over here, of course, being in this room a lot, I uh, don't feel like going to the kitchen, it's not a far walk, but uh, you know, it's cool to have your own microwave and refrigerator right there, and so I can just, when I'm working at the RC workstation, if I'm thirsty or hungry, I just turn around and I'm like, ah, here's my, uh, <laughs> here's my refrigerator, I'm kind of bare right now, actually, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's nice to have your own little uh, microwave and uh, refrigerator so whenever you're hungry or thirsty or whatever I can uh, grab me a little snack uh, another one of my box cutouts HPI trophy truck <laughs> that was a cool truck my friends but uh yeah so that is the RC room you guys seen the tour of the room now and uh, you see all my vehicles and everything and all that good stuff so yeah Look at this right here. The box for the trail finder and this really cool canvas tent. <laughs> All right, my friends. So that's the room. That's my RC room, my RC collection. 
So yeah, so you guys see the different types of RCs that I'm into. I'm not just into one type of RC, I'm into a lot of different types of RCs uh, from land, to air, to water, you know, I'm basically into them all of them. And uh, that's what I like about it. I mean, and I mean, this hobby is just so great. It's a lot of fun. It is a little expensive, but it, you know, that's the price we pay to have fun. And I have fun every time I'm going out and RCing, you know. And the cool thing about this hobby is that you meet a lot of people uh, that are into the hobby who are about your same age or so. Or And uh, another thing is that it's an active hobby. It actually gets you outside. You're not sitting in front of the computer or the TV or you know playing the Xbox or PlayStation, whatever. You're actually outside doing something. And that's what I love about this hobby. Plus another thing is that these are some of the vehicles that I would never get to drive in real life. I mean, how often would you get to drive a World War II tank? Not that often, you know, often all right? Unless you are a private collector and you have a tank, uh, then you can't. I mean, how could I you know, drive a fireboat unless I want to become a fireman and a firefighter? I'm not looking to do that right now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's what I love about this hobby. It's just so much fun, and you can do so much in this hobby, and that's what I like about it. It's just so much fun. All right, my friends, so with that being said, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Click that like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.